Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today's episode going to be on the holy holy. Okay. Yeah, get enough samples for the quid. I'm going to check them out. Turn back. For the holiday, we had Manini. He was looking at the sp spawning cycle. And um, it's the reason I'm doing all this too. To give everybody one idea that, you know, these events happen during a certain time and if we're going to do the study, we got to be on it. Can I just go guess and, you know, you're not going to get the true result that you're looking for. But this fish, I know the thing says spawning, so I, I kind of like try to capture all this while the event is happening. So just like the manini, if you look at this fish over here, you can see the the milt on top there. Yeah? And they're telling me that yeah, this this spawning, but this fish a little bit different from the manini. They they kind of like the ending part of the spawn. So the spawn going to end like next month, and then um. We send over here to get milk on top and see them like um, right there. I get hard time one hand. <laughs> anyway, you can see them, yeah. And just like the manini, if you press the, the belly, you can see the, the milk come out. Yeah. And then if the, the milk don't come out, pretty much you can kind of like guess it's. Uh, female yeah but like I said this they, they stay on the end the end part of the spawning so I'm gonna scale them up open them up and we're gonna see what's they going on okay okay we get 10 fish over here um power in here so I'm gonna open them up full of investigation this fish is because it is they they form big schools the the spawning is Almost similar like the manini, you know the the ratio one to one. So we we'll see what the, what the ratio is like. This all the fish open up. Um, the front row is females, and you can see the gonads. Because this fish is not like big, they're kind of medium size. They're these younger ones, the spawning is a little bit late, but you can see this one, this is what one ripe egg look like, ripe egg set, ready to burst. Um, and this is all the males on this side. And uh, the more mature, there's some that is young, like this one's really young, this two is young, but yeah, these sacks are like, they're already in spawn. But like I said, they're kind of like finishing off. So these younger ones, they get small gonads. They're going to spawn, but um, maybe the males are not going to have uh, sperm. They're not going to be milty. So it's the kind of stuff that you got to be aware of, you know, that some of these younger fish, they tend to mature a little bit later and kind of miss the season. Yeah. But this one here is right on. It's probably her, her last spawn, um, or maybe they get one more. I don't know, I gotta find out. Later on, I'll go get some more. But uh, yeah, this is what the thing looks like. Get plenty more Iki for share, but I don't like share all this good stuff one time. I'll let you guys get more so you can see what is happening during this time of the season. How the fish is behaving and yeah, the, the cycles that they go through. Hello, back again. Um, just wanted for recap some of the stuff that we're looking at this morning with the uh, ole ole. Um, yeah, this fish, like I, like I was saying, was um, kind of medium size, most of them. Had some had some big ones and if you notice um the older fish the bigger fish they were uh, like fully matured gonads yeah i think is like 
pretty much gonna finish off this spawn, probably spawn one more time and then pow. But these younger fish, the medium-sized fish, just like they're just starting. So they late, yeah. And like I said, um, you know, they, they, they might be successful, depend on, uh, you know, if the male gonna, gonna be muting at the same time that uh, females drop the eggs. So that's kind of like the, you know, the meat of the whole thing, like for have success in spawning, all that gotta be, you know, kind of like aligned. So it's kind of like what I, I wanted to share with this, this fish. And, um, you know, I don't need to take one whole bunch, like the scientists, like, you know, study like 50 fish. That's why they get the L50. L50 is like the size of maturity when 50% is, you know, at that stage. When, when they can reproduce. So, because my experience, you know, I, 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 can, I can almost tell, I, I mean, not almost tell, I can tell when things are happening. And yeah, this is one of the, the species that found a little bit earlier in a, you know, in a year. And then come, come spring, the period must close off. And then other fishes, like the manini, they kind of carry on maybe a couple months, one month more than ole ole. So the thing going is they're kind of sequence where, you know, the fish, you think they're spawning all at the same time, they're not. Um, they're kind of spawning, the, the, the thing overlap, some, some of the fishes, they overlap. But if you we, if we follow closely, you can tell the exact time when they spawn and when they finish off the spawn. But that's another chapter. Um, we're not gonna get into that, we're just gonna get into the event itself, the spawning activity, and show you that um, it's happening. Like for me, I'll, I'll ignore that it's happening. That's the only way I can, you know, validate what, what, what I share. Because a lot of it is not um, stuff that everybody know. A lot of it happened, you know, spur of moment, some of these species. I think you think that is what happening, but when you go next time, next year, next season, oh wait, they're back to normal again, you know. So you cannot make your determination on just one season, you know. That's why I do my stuff for years and years to determine, you know, guarantee this is what's going to happen, and um, that's why I can pick them out, you know. So the next, the next species are going, are going. I'm gonna work with it and hopefully I get I get the samples before the power spawn. It's a quality. I just like show that, you know, what's still happening. Um and I'll like show all the all the EKA because you know get people out there they, they think they know but they don't really know because how I know? Because they don't do what I do. They don't really catch the fish. I mean they're gonna eat them, of course they're gonna eat them. Feed the family, of course they're gonna feed your family. Well, what are you going to get left if you're going to take them all? And you don't know that, hey, maybe it's not the time you like catch them, yeah? And this is the kind of stuff I like present to people so that they can, you know, store that EK in their mind, whether they like it or not. It's real stuff. It's, it's stuff that is that nature is providing for us. And we can alter nature, yeah? I mean, you can burn a forest down. You can alter nature that way. What are you doing? You're damaging, yeah? It's like when we take, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a point every time for everybody out there that collecting fish or collecting anything from the ocean. You're creating a puka when you take, yeah? You're creating a puka. And in Hawaiian style, when you create one puka, you like fill them up. So the way you're gonna fill them up is knowing what I'm doing over here, yeah? This is the education for all the Hawaiians out there. They're like, no, I fulfill a puka when you create a puka in that ocean. Learn this kind of stuff so you know. Now take them all. When the thing is spawning, leave them alone. Let them run out. You know? That's why we know more Malay. That's why we know more Kumu. Because people never pay attention to that kind of stuff. And for these other species, yeah, oh, yeah, get planning. But you know what? 
as time go on and get more greedy people who come into this world, um, yeah, we're gonna come like Honolulu. Honolulu, you know, asking that big question, uh, you know, what happened? Because there are places that have plenty of fish. Can you be one of the most, like, there's so much fish down there, every kind of fish, can you always be? And um, yeah, the amount of fish that the thing produced now is not up to par, but you know, to them it's plenty. That's what they see now. But can you imagine, you talk to the old people, some of the old people that are living today, over there, they can tell you the story. You know, I know that. Cause I get that some of the people over here, they can tell a story too. Yeah, when they have plenty. So you young people, where's up? Makaala. And learn. No only go out there and pound. Yeah? Because all that pounding, you're going to self destruct. You're going to self destruct not only yourself, but everybody else, our Hawaiian culture. Yeah? Aloha.